Good morning, guys, and welcome from New York. We finally made it home, which I had big plans to film yesterday, because you guys know I didn't film it all yesterday, and I put out that pre-filmed vlog of Zach and I reacting to your assumptions about our relationship, but I thought I'd still get some footage, maybe of like when we were first walking into my home. I haven't been home in almost a year, which is crazy, and I thought it was going to be this whole big thing, reuniting with Walter, like it just, it was going to be great, and it, it, there was no part of me in any world that was ever going to vlog when we arrived home. We were in the car for over 16 hours. We left at 5 a.m. I had us wake up at 4.45. That was a controversial thing. Zach didn't want to leave early, but thank goodness we did because we didn't get home until like, I don't know, maybe like 9.30, a little after, a little before 10, I want to say, like 8. It, it just took so long. Like, I, I can't believe I kept saying, like, can't believe we have a 12-hour drive ahead of us. Like, I wish it was 12 hours. 12 hours would not have been as bad as that that terrible, <laughs> terrible 16. But we're here, and I'm so excited. And actually, this is a room that you guys are probably not as familiar with. Because I know a lot of you guys who have been watching my videos since, like, high school know the room I grew up in. It's actually so tiny. Every time I return, I'm like, I lived in this room. But my mom was actually kind enough to give Zach and me her room. And my dad... We'll be sleeping in my brother's room. My dad <laughs> snores a lot, so <laughs> he's uh, he's all settled there, but oh wow. I never know how horribly I make the bed until I show it on camera. That looks so bad, but that's okay. And it kind of looks like a bomb went off in here. The room looked so nice yesterday. Like, I feel so bad. I'm representing it so horribly, but we have some unpacking and organizing to do. That is for sure. And then look how sweet my mother was, is, still is. She put up this picture of us so it feels like our room. And then I always love doing my makeup and my mom's vanity. And once again, there are no timelines. I have no idea when I'm going to be leaving or where I'm going to be going. Hopefully St. Pete, that is the plan, but we we really have no idea. Zach right now is downstairs. He is on a work meeting. He is going to be working a little from home and then from a coffee shop nearby probably because he's actually really allergic to Walter, which is unfortunate. He woke up this morning and said he like could not breathe. But right now I have my advent calendar. Dad! And oh, no. was broke. It's not broken. It was the mic that broke. <laughs> we will persevere. Oh my god. How are you doing? Oh, Alright, Dad, I want you to do the 24 cups of cheer advent calendar today. What's that? You open up, so it's gonna determine what cup of coffee I drink today. I open up a new one each day, and what's today? Okay, actually, I'm gonna have two to open today because I wasn't able to do... This is like the uh, the movie Bad Santa. No, Dad, what are you doing? He just goes for five. We're gonna be on number 23. Open up. I feel like you're like my kid. I'm like, can you open up 23 for us? Why 23? You said it was random. That's how you no, know it's he not doesn't watch your vlogs. Yeah, I know. It's not random. Why 23? Because this is going to be going up on Vlogmas Day 23. Today is the 22nd. We should be open the 22nd. Dad, it's going up. Well, you, we're going to have to open both, so... Oh my god, can you even do it? <laughs> Jesus, what the hell is this? I can't even see the blue. It? It's right there. Why did you do it yourself oh then? Why are you asking me? Because I thought it would be a fun guest appearance. Now read aloud to the class what I'm going to be drinking this morning. Coffee. <laughs> Thanks. All right, this is the Kahlua Original Light Roast Coffee. This is such a scam. <laughs> what do you mean? Why is everything a scam with you? Why is it a scam? Oh my god. How much did you pay for this? Like 20 bucks. And how much would you, what would you pay for the coffees if you didn't? If oh, in a box slightly like less, but... Three or four dollars. Case closed. And mom, want to say hi from over there? I'd like to say hi in my pajamas <clears throat> without my hair <laughs> I know, that's why you're far away. You're actually like a silhouette. You look like a creepy person. Why don't you guys put all the lights on? We only have a couple days left of Christmas. No, I know. And you have to help me change those curtains. <gasps> oh my gosh, Walter! What are you doing? We haven't even, like, spoken this morning yet. He didn't even know he was there. He's like a pillow. He's so cute. I could seriously, like, you know when something's so cute you have to, like, punch it? But I obviously wouldn't. But, like, seriously, few things evoke that emotion in me, and Walter's one of them. And also, sorry, guys, whenever people show their dogs in vlogs, I seriously fast forward because I'm like, no one wants to see this, but <laughs> I'm sure someone wants to see Walty. Let there be Christmas! It's different, you could also, yeah, so it changes. And it's funny because it's like Neil stalking, my mom stalking, my dad. We're all uniform. And then there's Zach. <laughs> you gave him the cheap one. 
he's had that for what was it, the first year, four years ago. Yeah. That's crazy. But uh, I was looking for a maroon one. Someday we'll have to change. And because we miss days while traveling, let us open up 21. Donut Shop. I love Donut Shop. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Oh, nutty caramel. I bet it's not true nuts, but that still freaks me out. And then 22. Let's give it a little, little look-see. <gasps> Pete's Coffee. This is actually what we drink at home. Oh, my gosh. But this is a different one. This is Big Bang Medium Roast Coffee. What? Repeat that sentence. Video tip my dad gave me two options for my banana this morning. I can either have these and they're literally green or these and they're falling apart. They're not your options. What? They're my options. They're my bananas. I know. Oh my gosh, dad. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is so bad. I am literally sitting in the middle of chaos, but I there's just... There's nothing we can do about this. I mean, I'm gonna try to put a little bit more away, get it a little more organized, but <laughs> this is kind of awful. I figure we could chat a bit as I get ready, and in case you're wondering like, oh, what are you getting ready for? Nothing. I'm just so happy to be home because it's interesting. When I think about like my childhood here, high school, all of that, like obviously I was in high school, I was stressed, I was studying, but now home, like this house, represents just like relaxation for me. It's obviously where I go whenever I'm off from work. And like, so it's just, it's funny, like the different associations I have and that now home is just great. Also, I have a feeling my dad, I know you guys have a hard time understanding him. If you're new here, he's from Ireland. He's not mean, I promise. I know it probably comes off like that and you're probably like what the heck but don't it's just his personality and that's why when people like I, i've met people who are like oh like you're so new york like i'm very i don't know i'm just not always like hot like i i'm nice i promise i am like that's the thing like it's like i'm a i'm a mix between my mom and my dad and sometimes my dad does come out where i'm just more i'm not standoffish at all like that's the thing none of this is true if you meet me like if you ever come up to me i am like the most what's up person ever but I also like when I'm just not thinking, I just am very like to myself and everyone always is like, oh, it's cause you're from New York. Like in Cincinnati people said that, but no, I really don't think it's that. I think it's just, I'm Irish. <laughs> like my dad is more just like cold and not as like warm and fuzzy. I don't know. I think it's interesting to see where people come from cause it truly does like shape who you are. But then I always think like the nurture versus nature conversation is so, this is so rant, I'm going on a rant, but I always think nature versus nurture is so interesting because my brother and me are so different. We're very similar in some ways. Like some ways, if you hang out with us, we have like a similar like thing going on, like humor, I guess. Actually, but he has some dark, awful humor. So not even that, but we are just so different in so many ways. And so it's like, wow, I, 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 we grew up in the same house. My parents treated us the same exact way. So it just, it's truly like, in some way, it's just like who you are, like your genetic makeup. As for my plans today, I really don't have any. I feel like a nice lazy day is just, like that sounds awesome. Just like being with my family, Walter. My dad is actually off from work today. He's still doing work. I don't know what work he's doing out back, but he's technically off from work and that is very rare. He's never off. I haven't seen him in, over six months, I'm pretty sure, just because when my mom visited me last, whoa, oh my gosh, I just got a local 12 notification. I'm still signed up to uh, local 12 notifications from the weather authority. Timing on the Arctic front and changeover to snow is speeding up because they're expected to kind of get hit. It's not, it's not like it's gonna be a crazy amount of snow. It's just all of the other things. High winds, I'm guessing could ice form, I don't know. I obviously haven't been watching too closely. I've pretty much just been, they sent out two. I've just been talking to friends about the Christmas situation and how this storm is pretty much ruining so many people's Christmases because they're not able to fly home to see family and it's just, it disrupted everything. So I really feel for them. It, it, it just, it sucks. It really does. Mom is doing her daily morning routine, 10 a.m. watching my vlog. Well, 10.30 because I walk Walter. Oh, you watch 10.30? Wow, you're not one of the true early comp- I am. It's so weird seeing us on a TV. I've never, um... Oh, yeah, the big TV. Zach and my dad are back at the house. Let's see how that one goes. Because, oh my gosh, I didn't even tell you guys. I told my dad, Dad, don't say anything. Like, Zach is on a work call. He's on his work conference call. Everyone is on it on Thursday morning at 9 a.m. My dad didn't understand that. And he is singing and moving, like, 12 feet of wood. 
No, what he said was he stepped in and said it would freeze the balls off of Red's monkey out there. It's his favorite line, and he says it every other second, and Zach's on his work meeting. So, and then he started singing to himself, and I kept saying, Dad, stop, he's working. I, I think my dad, what do you think? He thought, he was, no, he's not, he's on with his friend. <laughs> Zach, thought, I mean, my dad thought Zach was just calling his friends at 9 a.m. I'm so confused, because I told him so many times. So, anyway, my mother and I are now going into town, Malvern, which... What cla Why is it a village? We, we live in a village, an everyone. An incorporated village. That's how we have our separate police department. I think that's the house that's for sale. Really? Oh, the one that you sent oh, me? Oh, there's someone in it. Oh, go. you have your camera. Oh, that's weird. I know. Well, that's, is that the one, that's the one you sent me? Yeah. Uh, yeah, my mom's trying to convince me to move into Melbourne, clearly. Let's go clearly. by Aunt Patricia's. Yeah, so we are going into town. I think there are a few boutiques that just opened up, which, to be clear, so it's interesting. I'm from a town that's so small, Malvern, but... It's like, it's not like, oh, you're in the middle of nowhere, like in a farm, because the right, the town over is just right there. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. this is obviously a very populated area. Our town just happens to be small. Oh, another thing about a village is we can't have any chains. Like, so we would never have a chain restaurant. Oh, and they were fighting to get Trader Joe's in here, remember? Yeah. Like, but you're not allowed to have any chains. It has to all be local. I just want to let everyone know that these two salads, they're not even that special. Seriously, just like lettuce and avocado, whatever, cost 40 dollars at the Malvern Village Juicery and mom this is why I'm never moving home. Well, 20 it came to $40.19. Yeah, that's disgusting. That's was, that's not going to fly. Yeah. Well, actually you wouldn't. I was going to say you would make more money if you lived in New York, but I wouldn't if I'm working remote, but you'd have mom. Someday you'd have kids and free babysitting, all that stuff. Tis true, but I'd have to win the lottery to live here. Well, I wanted to show you guys like how beautiful everything looks and it seriously just looks awful. Not because of Malvern, just because of winter. Like it's just a bunch of gross trees. And the worst part is this isn't even all of it, but and obviously also some little things I needed But this is like the most stocked full grocery cart I've ever seen. We did well except for And this is the Christmas. This is the exclusive Christmas guest list everyone on this side. AKA just my dad's side of the family Okay, so I'm currently experiencing a kind of major problem where Zach is working at a coffee shop right now and I'm getting texts from him telling me he's dying. Apparently he is that allergic to Walter, although everyone is telling him, you, Dad, do you think it's allergies or do you think he's sick? I don't know. Well, what's your opinion, Dad? I think he might have a cold just because you, as an example, are so allergic to cats and you become a mess when you visit Neil and then you're fine after. Well, the weird thing is, the thing that doesn't make sense to me is why is he still so sick? Like, I, I can understand you have an allergic reaction to a dog and then maybe it lingers, but you start to get better. Like, in my experience, once you remove the allergen, you at least feel better. But he's sitting at that coffee shop where he's been for hours and he said he's dying. And I ju I, I'm just convinced he might be sick. I don't know. I think I'm also just trying to be hopeful because I don't know what we're going to do. I mean, he's going to have to leave, which stinks because... Like, Maybe he's just he's making it up because he wants to leave. <laughs> I think he's making it up, guys. No, he's not making it up, but... He just doesn't like us. Well, this is his first time home in like almost three years, by the way. He's avoided it long enough, but... You could be a widow chance before you get married. Dad, that's not... Jeez. <laughs> what the heck? That's like not... Dad, you're going to get so much hate on this vlog, by the way. You've been nothing but mean. What? You've been nothing but mean. Mean to what? You're just, you've been just not... I'm just stating a fact. You asked me my opinions. That's my opinion. Oh my gosh. Please don't hate well, my dad. You said he's dying. You said he's dying, so... <laughs> oh my gosh. I just wanted to say it. All right. Only get my, uh... Your dark Irish humor. <laughs> there you go. Oh man, this is... This situation, it's like, I feel like... Every time something is like great, I'm like so excited. I'm like, oh, for the holidays. The There's like just always something. Like, I don't, like, always something. Like, this sucks. Like, right now we could all be like having fun. The Jets game is on tonight. I'm so sad. Well, this the one thing I have to say Walter just has never, he does not go in our ba uh, basement, has never been on the furniture down there. What are we, Lock Zach? No, I was going to say, like, 
test it out, watch the jet game tonight downstairs and see if Zach is fine or not. He's kind of waiting from here for for hours. Right. I personally think he might have a sickness, but I'm so sad. Like, I literally have, like, this lingering anxiety with this. You used to go to an allergist, Dr. Goldstein. If we called, there's no chance they could just take Zach. I doubt it, especially, like, when you book a doctor, they're like, oh, you want to come in in, in, like, 2023? Actually, 2023 is, like, two weeks away. I was trying to, like, 2024. I put on my jacket to go outside, so here I am, so I gotta go. Back to you. I wonder if Zach's ever gonna come home tonight. Long Island Marriott. We're looking up hotels. Islander people there. I feel like that's so crazy, though, him staying at a hotel. Well, you, to... you'd stay with him, too. I don't want to... <laughs> what? You said... <laughs> Wait... You weren't planning on going with him? No! I haven't been home in so... <laughs> so for Black Friday slash, I guess, Cyber Monday, I did some shopping and I decided to just order everything here because I wasn't sure if it was going to come in time. And so, yeah, we're going to have a very big haul tomorrow. This is actually, it's not all for me. This is my mom's Christmas present, Carly's Christmas present. Like we've got, we've got some things that aren't just for me, I promise. And I'm just going to save that unboxing for tomorrow's vlog because I don't know. I, 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 I just, this was not what I had planned for this vlog. I thought this vlog was going to be like such a happy, such an upbeat vlog. I'm so sorry that it's not. Like I always feel bad when, the thing is, because I know you guys are probably like, well, you've made like not sad vlogs, but like vlogs where things go wrong before, but it's when I go into a vlog thinking it's going to be like, okay, we're gonna put out like a happy one, and then things go wrong, <laughs> which at the end of the day, it's not the end of the world. It's just disappointing if Zach's gonna have to go home early. Like, I guess, I don't know if he's planning on going home like the day after Christmas or something. He just was texting me and saying like, he just doesn't think he can do this. And staying in a hotel, like that's just, that's crazy. Obviously, we're going to figure it out. I'm still banking on that he's sick, which sounds awful. I hope he's sick, but it would obviously be a, you know, that's a temporary thing. Being allergic to Walter is like a permanent problem, so we'll see. I hope he comes home soon. Would you like to show us your dinner? Oh my god. Why? Why does anybody care about dinner? Because they all want to know what do you eat each and every night. We've got salmon. We've got, what the, is that all you have for dinner? Oh, I have rice. See my rice? My dad is very healthy. No waste. I wouldn't say unhealthy like what I like. I just like what I eat. She's down here scraping the bottom of the barrel if you're taping what I eat for dinner. <laughs> my dad's asking how I come up with all my content. I said, I'm, I'm having trouble, so you need to deliver. <laughs> Am I delivering eating dinner like? Yeah. Oh, also, Dad, you were part of a really big controversy for me. Did I tell you about this? It was your Trump playing cards. Remember we got them as a gag gift because of how I much never you... got, I certainly Well, never I think we got them for you because of how much you hate Trump. So I was showing like my desk and then people thought I'm some sort of like Trump lover with the playing cards. Yeah. <laughs> and then wait, stop the best story. I'm putting this in tape, yeah. Yes, I am. No. I think it's pretty evident that I don't like Trump, but the best though was when mom hid the candy bars in the hotel. So my dad, you'll never meet someone who hates Trump more than him. Whoa, this lighting is scary. Like you don't hate him, dad? Are you kidding me? You call him the orange demon. <laughs> <laughs> you do. I mean, I, I really, I respect everyone's political opinions, but personally, not a fan. And my dad very much so hates him. So my mom decided to put these Trump candy bars under his pillow in the hotel room or on the pillow something like that had like his face on the wrappers Trump. and pretending Trump it chocolate. Trump chocolate pretending the maid was giving them to us and my dad were you getting so mad he was like this is so ridiculous I'll give him a was yeah I was gonna go down like him. and say what I didn't know like I mean Jesus I don't know why are you doing this to me why are you torturing me my mom went out and got all kinds of medicines. We have like every type in case it's maybe a cold or maybe it's, this is I think allergies. Zach obviously does not want to be on the vlog right now because of the situation, but we're trying. I don't know if you can hear it, but we've got the asparagus sizzle. Making a whole little dinner tonight. Actually, I'll show you the plates when they're finished because this looks not cute. <laughs> and dinner is served. Zach and I are having a rare moment of eating together. He is mixing up his sweet potato and butter. For my sweet potato though, I do avocado. And this is actually like a really nice 
setting but the cute little Walter <laughs> and now I've got my harvest snaps these are the best ever I just get I switch between I'm eating lightly salted tonight but I also like the tomato basil Zach had I think some sort of garlic ones and we are ready to watch the Jets game we will see you tomorrow vlog oh my gosh tomorrow's my second to last day of vlogmas that's so weird but we'll see you here good night